Hey guys, this is Justin with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I want to show you guys how to use the ECU mapping switch and launch control on your Honda CRF. All right, guys, real quick, I want to show you on these newer Honda CRF 250 and 450 R's and RX's, Honda is equipping them with a map switch right on the handlebar and a launch control right on the handlebar. So as what the map switch does here on the left side of the handlebar, you've got your kill switch here, but up here is your map adjuster. And you have three preset maps. And this is what that means is you have three different um, maps that alter or change your power ca characteristics of your motor. So the first setting, for example, is their standard setting. The second one is a softer setting. So if you're in more technical or muddy terrain, you can go to that softer setting. And then the third one is the more aggressive setting. Now with launch control, is what that is, is it's basically a rev limiter that changes um, how the engine revs on a start. So if you're in loose conditions where you're, you're gonna get a lot of tire spin or a cement start, you're gonna hook up a lot better using the launch control. So I just wanna quickly show you how to um, adjust the maps, go through the, di the three different maps, and then I wanna show you how to go through the three different settings on the launch control. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start the bike. So with the three different map settings, I'm just going to press this top button, hold it down for a couple seconds, and then it's going to switch to the next map. So I was in map three, now it's flashing one time, telling me it's in map one. And it's gonna flash one time, pause, again, pause, again. So it's gonna do that three times. When I hold the button down again and let go, now it's giving me two quick flashes. And again, it's going to repeat that three times. So now I'm in map number two, which means I'm in the soft setting. If I hold the button down again, let go, it's giving me three quick flashes telling me I'm in map three, which is the aggressive map on this bike. All right, with launch control, it works the same way as the map switching does, except you're gonna be using the start button. So to turn it on and to change the different uh, modes within that launch control, you're gonna pull in the clutch while the bike's idling, push down the start button and hold it for a few seconds, and then you're gonna see a purple light flashing over here. And depending on how many blinks you have, that's going to tell you what mode of launch control you're in. And just like the maps, you can toggle through those different modes, there's three of them, by, by holding the start button. So if I hold it again, it's gonna give me two quick flashes telling me I'm in mode number two. If I hold it again, it's gonna tell me that I'm in mode number three with three quick flashes. Now. If I decide I don't want it on, I want to turn it off, I can just hit the start button real fast and it shuts it off. The other way it shuts off is when I do a start and I, I hold that throttle open and then shut it off real quick for my first corner, it's going to shut off and put it back into its normal mode for the rest of the race. Now it's important to note with the launch control, when you're practicing your starts, you wanna practice those different um, settings. So when you go to a track and you see what kind of start it is, you have a pretty good idea on which mode you need to be in to get the best start. Anyway, that's just a real quick look at the electronics on this bike. Hopefully that helps you without having to dig through your owner's manual to figure it out. Um, but anyway, it's an awesome feature that Honda's putting on their bikes and they work really well. They're very effective. Anyway. That's it, I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this, product spotlights and how-tos. Thanks guys.